Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and here we are what was supposed to have been the last video of 2023 is now the first video of 2024 because of this video. I almost didn't do this because I want to do a compilation. I didn't really have a lot of time to make a recap so I made this poll and you said yes. So here I am doing the recap for 2023. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's just get started but before we do that subscribe if you want to. If you like this video or if you like any of my videos just subscribe. Leave a like or if you have any ideas for future videos comment them in the comment section. Let's get started with this recap. We'll start with Prince of Metis Vale 2. Now I rarely saw this video because I cringed at how I did it. I put a lot of effort into it. The, the video part was not the best but the song is what, what matters. This was actually not commissioned. I don't know if any of you knew this, but I did not get paid to make this. I just thought it would be great to give Sir Silver a part two that he has full rights over and he can use it wherever he wants in his on his channel, which he still does. So you guys can go check out his channel. It's on my channel page. The song itself didn't take extremely long to make because it was mostly just moving around tracks, but the end result really looked good. I think that's pretty much it. Let's go to the next one. Top Gear. There's not much to say about this one. This one was kind of a put it together and then posted it. Something that was kind of significant about this was that this was the first time I'd actually used an official audio visualizer as you can see how I use the uh, inner area. I was still learning the website. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But I so inconspicuously blocked out the watermark as shyly as I could. I think this will be the only time I actually use a circle in the center. Not many people might notice is the fact that I've only been doing uh, straight lined visualizers because not only do those look nicer, but they're easier to deal with. Let's go to the next one. F M 31. I love this one. This one is actually, I hope, inspired a few people. I don't know if it did or anything. The song was just something that I sat down at my computer and just the idea came to my head and I just put it together, experimented with audio effects and all that stuff. I, lo I love how, I love the style of the song. So maybe, just maybe, I'm making a part two. Yeah, you can see how I started using the uh, straight lined visualizers, only this time it's mirrored. I was so proud of this part at the top. Let's go to the next one. I made a song with only one note. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but this what was the most significant about this video was the fact that I was sponsored. First time I've ever gotten sponsored on a video. I get an email saying you are eligible for a sponsorship. So I was like, oh yeah, let's do it. So I recorded pretty much that day. The rest is history. I feel like this was one of my nice, like it has better quality with editing and stuff, making fun of myself, which is if you notice, that's something I like to do when I'm editing my videos is I make fun of myself because sometimes I'm an idiot when I'm recording. Sorry. Next video we are cruising along here straight into rush e remix the start of it all i didn't like this song i didn't like it that much because i remade the midi that was the hard part was i remade the midi i remade the midi because I didn't want to pay $3 to actually get the MIDI, even though now I have the MIDI. I don't like the song that much because there's some mistakes here and there that I'm not going to point out for those of you that actually love the song. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I was It sounded good when I was making it, but then it, I was just like, no, that's not accurate. I mean, one of the things I really did not like had to have been the drums because they were the most random. In my opinion, they were really random and terribly constructed. That's the reason why I w really worked hard on the drums and the future uh, remixes of Rush E. Let's keep going. Alrighty, we are in the note block cover of Forget Reaction. I phrased that weird. Note block, Matt. This is one of my few reaction videos. This uh, I basically got featured in a music video for the first time. Uh, lots of firsts happening in the beginning of 2023, I'm noticing. But I was so excited. I'm actually still a member of Note Block Matt's channel, and I'm still at the end of every single one of his videos. And yeah, there is me. That's me. It's me. It's me. All right, next video. Cyber criminal. So this one was one of those ones that I just, it was another instrumental that I kind of put together over time. It, it took a couple days to do. I did lots of effects. I added lots of stuff to this image. Here is when I started. I think this is when I started really using the uh, visualizer. But I really like how the render turned out. You can really see, I don't, I can't remember if this was Cycles or Eevee, but this was, this was made in Blender. I feel like about this point, I started to bring my A game and my stuff. Let's keep going. Ho, 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 ho. Do any of you know this video? This video is what got me to 2.13 thousand subscribers, or it got me, it got me to a thousand subscribers at least. It doubled my subscriber count all because this man reacted to Rush E for the first time and because I edited it and posted it. Almost to 400,000 views. I've never seen any of my videos blow up so much, but it was really fun to pop up my YouTube and see this video spike. Like it's, it, what, a spike is an understatement. We're just watching CG5 dancing, but I'm telling you his reactions were priceless. 
His reaction here was absolutely priceless. Absolutely perfect. Uh, 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 stop it. Gotta love it. Next video, Legends Begin. My only lyrical song, which I'm really disappointed about, that I made in 2023. But this one actually was an idea that I had for quite a few months that I wanted to do. I had the file for a while and then just never did anything with it. I, I was just thinking to myself, I need to make a lyrical song. And I remembered I had this, I still had this. I finished it up and I put it out. And yes, this was worth it. I know Minecraft Legends did not do so well after its release. The song was pretty fun to make. And since then, I've been growing my voice and I hope that it will help me do better in my in my newer songs. Next video then. My hide and seek, ah! My hide and seek Among Us video. Oh, I think this, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this one was one that I recorded quite a while before editing it. I recorded it and, and I didn't think I was gonna do anything with it. And then I realized I need a video. So I edited it and I like how it turned out. But hide and seek is super fun. Whenever I play Among Us, I have to play hide and seek. Hide and seek is super fun. It's, it definitely adds a level of intensity to the game and it was fun to play it for the first time. Next video, we got power mode. Power mode didn't do so hot, uh, it received a little bit of criticism maybe like it was how i can how i orchestrated things or instruments i used i didn't pair things correctly but overall if you look past that just a little bit you can see um it's enjoyable this uh this was around the time when i started doing consistent uploads when i tried doing that like every saturday which ended up not working but i was able to keep up with it for a little bit and it was cool to be able to do that keep up with the audience well i was say i was struggling for a name i was sitting there at the export just thinking what would this name what would i name this thing so i just landed on power mode which ended up not actually selling it that well next video minecraft but it is off brand my second recreation of a stephen he video my first one emotional damage got actually taken down this year because apparently i'd used stephen he's footage and i don't know how that got away how that passed for so long but it's also the reason why my 1000 subscriber live stream got taken down but actually the same person who killed me in emotional damage who's doing the killing was recording this for me because i don't know how, how exactly that works i pretty much wrote the script but I didn't follow it that well. Editing was okay. Right now we're kind of in the dip of it, just so you know, the valley of it. But nothing exciting happened really, except for the CG5 part, but that was later. That part was, this part was good. This part was good. I like this part. Let's start the next one. Eight bit swing. This one was fun. This one was fun. I was actually learning about ragtime. So I decided decided I would compose my own ragtime and it turned out really well. It's actually planning on making it normally eight bit, but then I also made a piano version as well, which is up right now. And uh, which isn't really the sort of thing a lot of people would like to listen to all the time this is one of those another one of those songs that did okay it did it did fairly well what was that that's weird did you guys see that it was like a little fracture on the screen like over here on the right oopsie all right next video ah uh ha -huh. Jelly Mario. This video was pretty fun to record. Pretty hard to play, but pretty fun to record. I saw a YouTuber do this, and so I decided I would make my own video on it. I didn't know how hard this would be to do, but I did it, which I felt good about. Not really much happened. Not There's not much to say about this video, unfortunately. The amount of screams I did, I had the death counter up there in the top left. The amount of screams that happened. Pretty fun to edit. Next video. Minecraft 1.20, was it worth the wait? So my 1.21 video, it will be coming soon once it gets near release. But this, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This video I edited in the car. Yes, I was, I was writing in the car and I just edited this. So it, it, you might be slightly different quality. Turned out well. Uh, I made fun of myself a lot in this video because I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just messing around. Um, I know the 1.21 update wasn't that impressive, nor was 1.20. Uh, as I said at the end, I kind of had a speech at the end. It was fun to actually make another Minecraft video. I need to make more Minecraft videos. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go to the next one. Heroic. One of my songs that didn't do so well, this was during the summer. I spent 40 hours composing this and it only gets 130 views, but I'm not I'm not complaining. This wasn't one of my favorites either It was mostly because of the amount of time I spent composing it everything in this was digital I spent a lot of time organizing things and orchestral. It was actually really fun to do I, I enjoy making orchestral ones nothing much was significant about about this one Despite the fact I got away with using this image, which I'm not stealing 12,250 notes 
I think that's a pretty nice achievement. Uh, I hope to make more orchestral music like this. No, I'm gonna make one this year. Yeah, if you have any ideas, tell me. Let's keep going. AI generated art, one of my least favorite videos because of how poorly it was edited. And when I was recording this, I kind of lost interest in actually recording it pretty much. I was recording it and then I just decided to stop because I was bored. So that's the re that's part of the reason why this video is so stinking short. So, but I did my best to make it watchable. It almost ended up not being a video because of how uh, poorly I recorded it. I'm getting better at recording. I'm, I'm getting better. This wasn't really the best website to use, nor was the other one I used in this video. Uh, it's, it was kind of more lesser quality than it could have been because there's obviously better ones. I haven't liked this. Oh wait, that's right. I actually re-uploaded this video because of an, of an error. One of the files wasn't there, so it, and it said like missing file and stuff. So I had to re-upload it after it, after it had published. That was embarrassing. However, it's not the first time that's happened. Next video, Pirates Rave. I felt like this could have gone a little better with how I like uh, finished up everything because the ending was really kind of long and drawn out. I feel like I could have tweaked that a little bit more. But overall, this was one of my ideas that I had for a little while. It was originally going to be an orchestral, but I decided against it. I kind of just composed an orchestral, right? Did I'm pretty sure, yeah, Pirates Rave, I think, was right after Heroic. So I remember I, I had a whole story about Pirates Rave when I used ChatGPT and how I used ChatGPT to find the, or get a good name for this uh, visualizer. I'm experimenting, I was experimenting with different types of visualizers here. Overall, really fun song to work on. I was really inspired by Boom Kitty and similar artists that made, uh, especially Rum and Bass, which I listened to earlier this morning. Rum and Bass by Boom Kitty was one of my main inspirations. And so I figured I would make one, like my own version of a pirate song and it ended up turning into this. Melody wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be, but the way it worked out was actually, actually worked. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let, let's go to the next one. Level complete. This one was one of my favorites. This is one, this was when I kind of rose a little bit more when I started doing a little bit better. Level complete was really fun to do. I took some liberties. It, was, it still remained true to the original. I was actually going to make a remake it as an orchestral, but I decided against it because I don't want to be that person who does remakes. And plus a rock remix I felt like was needed. Uh, the visualizer was fun to do and background was fun. It was off sync. So I had to do a lot of editing with the background. It turned out really well. Uh, if any of you don't know already, but when I was creating the uh, cover art, or I don't even know what that's called, uh, album art, whatever. I couldn't decide between having a blue and yellow or a red and yellow. So I put it up as a poll just saying, what do you guys want? Or what color do you want? And every, everyone said red, red, red. So it's red because of you guys. Next video, my chat GPT video. This one is, wasn't really much. I didn't really enjoy editing this one because of how there was a lack of activity happening. I think it was informative for people who actually want to use an AI. ChatGPT is really fun and really cool to use. But yeah, I actually, I use ChatGPT for a lot of uh, chord design and melody design, which sometimes I don't, or normally I don't use it, but I get, it gets me going. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, next video, Rush E2. Nah. Rush E2 original remix. Yes. This one, I feel like this the sequel, the second part of the Rush E trilogy, was this was probably the wildest. As opposed to Impossibility, Rush E3 takes the cake, but with craziness, Rush E2 win wins. I wasn't really planning on uh, making this until I saw that they had the download up. And so I downloaded it, paid, paid for it, downloaded it, and made this remix. My computer was having lots of issues exporting it because of how many notes were actually in this file. I actually didn't, I wasn't able to export it how I normally do it. I actually had to record the audio from the the file just so I can get this as an audio file. And yeah, that that just goes to show how crazy this this song is. But I think Sheet Music Blast did great, did a great job with all this. Let's go to the next one. Now this one was short. It was it was short because I figured that the video had gone on pretty long and it had gone on for a while. That's the reason why it's so short. But really, I was doing a lot of work when I was recording it. I wish I I wish this video could have been longer. I never actually did complete the password game. I'm not sure if it's still up. I think I don't think it is. But I did. Never complete the password game because I don't have that time. I'm a content creator, you know. It was a fun video to make. I felt like it was definitely worth making a video for. And then I said 2023 was a month of the year. Next video. Ah! Terminal. One of the one of those songs that I posted. Well, actually, I would have done I would have done more editing to this song if I hadn't made it in the car. 
Again, the song wasn't actually made in the car. I edited, I made the video in the car, but not the song. I would have done more editing to it, but my music software was not on the computer I was using. I had to stick with the only draft of the song, which still sounded pretty good. And also, if you notice, I like to use blue and green titles, uh, like with Pirate's Rave and future songs. But the visualizer was something new. I was really struggling with it. One fun fact is that I'm only able to create two visualizers per, per song because of how it, how the system works with the website. I'm only allowed to create two. And so I think this was only one visualizer because I really did, I did some image editing with the uh, dimension editing with the side areas, uh, lots of masking going on. And if you don't know this, it's actually uh, airline themed. Uh, Air Force themed. It doesn't look like it, but it was originally intended to be Air Force themed. And that's why the cover for it looks like a, uh, you know what I mean? Just pop it up on the screen. You'll know what I mean. Next video. Oh, ho, ho, ho. if you have $3 and you take away two, how many dollars do you have? 26. Now, this one was my first animated short I've ever made. I had actually been doing a lot of Blender work over the summer. And so I figured as a kind of, su of a surprise, I'd put together some original short made by me. The animation took me like, three days to make and about a day to render. But there were a few mistakes. I'll, I, I'll, I'll spoil this. I'll spoil this for you. I'll spoil this. Is that the thumb actually glitched glitched here where you can see it just it just merges through so that was the one mistake pointed out by spider manny so i'll give credit to him and it's what got me on actually the blue film slash blue flyers slash bamations community team and that's how sugar rush got made which i'll cover in just a bit uh let's go on to the next one my first geometry dash video aka can i beat five levels in 30 minutes this is also pretty self-explanatory i had actually recorded this one time. I, that's what I thought. I recorded this once and it didn't record. So I had to redo it. And actually the recording turned out better. This recording turned out better than the uh, prior one. Actually in the prior one, I lost the challenge and I had to put myself through an insane wave challenge, which I actually beat somehow. 2.2 .2 is also pretty cool, but I'll cover that in just a minute. Let's go to the next one. He 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 he. I accused the imposter for stupid reasons again. It's a sequel, guys. Last year, I did a video Among Us challenge where I accused the imposter for dumb reasons, like it could be anything. It got crazier in this video, it was accusing people because they look like a potato and stuff like that. But it was fun. It was fun. Uh, if you guys want to see more of that, you guys can tell me in the comments. Actually, what I want you guys to do is tell me in the comments what videos you want to see more of. Also, this video was recorded in the same day that I recorded the Geometry Dash video. And this was actually, I had, I recorded this right after the Geometry Dash video. I felt pretty good having some stuff that I can actually post. So let's go on to the next one. All right, we got my Hero Brian video, which conveniently enough was posted on the one year anniversary of the uh, first video I posted with the Hero Brian. This one was more random. It was better than the first one I did, in my opinion. I had lots of glitch effects in my editing software, so I decided I'd use that as much as possible. Uh, lots of editing went to this. Unfortunately, my game audio was really loud in this recording. If you guys want to hear it, you can go see for yourself. It turned out well. The data pack was cool. It's actually in the description of this video. I was jump scared quite a bit. Lots of this was not accurate. The part when I randomly started moving backwards, where's that part? Yeah, this part was actually me just milking it. I just decided I would move backwards for some random reason. So that was me doing that. Let's go to the next one. Geometry Rush. Let's go. This one was one of my favorites uh, because it's for Geometry Dash 2.2. And I'm wanting to make a level for this song. But what you guys need to do is you guys need to get it popular so people can rate it and get it on here. Get it on the, the game. But as of right now, the level is in progress. Uh, I don't know when it will release because it it's taking a while but overall this is a this was a really fun song i enjoyed playing with the sounds of dubstep and stuff this was my real first attempt at actually making a dubstep song and the visuals took a pretty long time to do uh because lots of it was manual key keyframing uh but i was inspired by uh some of the fan-made versions of dash dash destroyer and stuff like that how they did the title and stuff and i was just inspired to make something similar but yeah and also if you guys want to make your own levels with this song view it on Newgrounds and get it on the algorithm or stuff like that i don't know i, I still don't know how it looks how it works i looked it up i think it needs to be like reviewed and confirmed or something but let's keep going my fungal video yeah when i say i this is the first time i played this game or the map it, i mean this the first time i played the, the map and also i would have gotten among us on like computer version i actually did on steam 
Then I found out it's only for Windows. That was a mistake. I have an unusable Among Us on Steam and I have to keep playing on the iPad version, which is hardly compatible for a computer. That's the reason why it's in this sort of ratio, uh, screen ratio. My favorite part had to be the Among Us train. Ah, this part. This part was the Among Us train part. One of my golden moments on my channel when everyone used a zip line in this map. That was mostly it. Nothing else, nothing much happened in this video besides my recording stopping, which I caught in just in time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Next video. Aha! The Amazing Digital Circus main theme orchestral remix. It's the Amazing Digital Circus main theme orchestral remix. What do you, what do you expect? I wanted to actually create a lyrical song for the Amazing Digital Circus, but I just did not have the time. It definitely would have been fun though to make a Digital Circus song like like that, but I had to resort to remixes. Plus the remixes did turn out really nice. I, I, I liked how they turned out. What the, one of the cool things is that you can see how I got better over this year, how I leveled up with how I, what I, the sounds I use and all that stuff. And visualizer wise, this turned out nice. You're, I'm not gonna tell you how I got this background. I didn't steal it. I'll give you that. I'm not gonna tell you how I got it. But the remix turned out great. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Pandora, you name it. Go listen to it. Next. Video, your new home orchestra, ah! your new home orchestral remix. It's your new home orchestral remix. This one actually exploded on Spotify with, as far as I know, 1900 listens recently, which I think is pretty cool. My only song on my Spotify page that's gotten so many. Why does she have three forks? Is that custom? When do you use three forks at the dinner table? <laughs> I just learned something. I learned why she has literally three forks. And by the way, this food looks like it was something pulled straight out of VeggieTales. But anyway, Remix, I love doing it. I actually had three drafts. I may post one of them on my second channel. I felt a little bad pulling this straight from the show, pulling this clip straight from the show. But I mean, come on, isn't everyone? This was one of my better remixes, I will say. And apparently it did much better than my other songs. You can even pop up the screenshot of the listen count. Anyway, yeah, I love this show. This show was really good. When I first saw it advertised, I didn't think much of it. And then I saw the pilot and I really liked it. And the amount of people that actually did like it, I think the animators and the producers did great on this show. Great show, great show. I'm, re I'm really looking forward to seeing the future of that show. Let's go on to the next one. Fresh E3 original remix. Yes, this might be one of my top favorite songs I've ever made. I made it in two days. Yes, that's correct. I made it in two days. I started making it the day it was posted. I only spent another day making it and then I finished it off and uploaded it two days after the song premiered. Overall, I got lots and lots and lots and lots of support from this song. I had lots of fun with the video. Uh, lots of fun with making this. The guitar riffs are really were really fun to put together because I was just thinking, oh my gosh, that's a guitar riff just waiting to happen. Um, but the drums were really fun to do. And the one of the cool parts is that Sheet Music Boss commented, which I jumped out of my chair when I saw that. So that was pretty cool. Did really well. I think I think this is one of my best songs I've made so far. When I saw the Rush E3 video for the first time, I saw that they used the CG5 Reacts to Rush E video in the video. I, that was such a fun surprise, seeing one of my videos used in a Sheet Music Boss video. Also, this part I could not remove. I was trying to remove it, but I couldn't. Overall, one of my, one of my favorites. The Rush E3 uh, remix was uh, easier for me to export, I will say, because I tried a different method where I split the file in half and I took the impossible parts and get, made them their own audio file, merged them together afterwards, and it, and it didn't lag out my computer as much. But yeah, I'm excited to see where the Rush E series takes us if they do a Rush E4. A Rush E4 would be awesome. A quadrilogy. Let's go to the next one. My Christmas short that I made because I couldn't make a Christmas instrumental this year. So I decided I'd reanimate a meme from the FNAF movie, which I have not watched. Sorry, I have not watched the movie, but I did see the clip and so I wanted to reanimate it. Really, really fun. Not much to say about this, even though there's so much happening. This was EV rendering. I didn't, I didn't want the rendering to take so long. Let's go to the next one. Everything I did for Sugar Rush, but essentially Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush was basically our first music video animation on the Blue Fires slash Bamations team. Animating, rendering, helping, thumbnail making. I did so much for this. I and mean, that's probably the reason why I got that shout out at the end, uh, which I will say I didn't ask for, but I still am very grateful. My special appearance and all that stuff, but all the rendering took forever. I'm excited to see where this team goes in the future. My animation skills took off 
during this year. And this year was uh, a very productive year. The last half of it, I will say, was most of, was mostly a productive year. Uh, all these goofy images. I'm excited for part two. I don't, I can't really explain much because I already explained in this video. Spider was fun to work with and all that stuff. Let's go to the next one. Geometry Dash got 10 times cooler. 2.2 is finally out. After seven years of waiting, this major update has finally released and it is awesome. And I've played it so much ever since. Oh, I was originally going to do two parts to this video, like record two parts to this video, but or when I was editing it, it turned out to be really long. So I ended up not doing that. And I, I did a quick recording as an outro. Dash, I, I have beat Dash with all three coins, which I found by myself. Let me know what Geometry Dash content you want. Geometry Dash is really fun. Uh, let's see. Let me talk about this compilation that closed out the year. This is what took the place of, my, of this video that I'm recording right now. This video took its place. However, I'm still making it. So isn't, that's a little ironic. Compilation of my best moments. Overall, I hope this video made you laugh if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's pretty funny. You get to watch me scream. You get to watch me struggle. You get to watch me do stupid things. You get to watch me look at myself really closely. So that's going to close out 2023. 2023 over just like that. And that's that's everything I did this year. What a year we've had. I am so excited what for what 2024 has to offer. I can't believe 2024 is already here. But this year, I'm hoping to do some really, really good stuff. Groundbreaking stuff. Videos will say about the the same but as far as music design production i have some big things planned um I'm, I'm hoping to collaborate maybe even i'm hoping i can reach a close to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year by the end of 2024 but that's up to you guys you guys can make that happen if you guys aren't subscribed you should do it 2024 it will be a good year i hope but there's gonna be some big stuff quite a bit of animation quite a bit of shorts uh fun stuff i'm gonna put a lot of effort into my content this year and i hope you guys enjoy it so yeah that's gonna do it for this recap i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed please make sure you leave a like and subscribe comment if you have any ideas for what i should do in 2024 and i'll see you well it is it is 2024 but i'll see you in my next video bye